Hey, what's going on, good people? Today, we're going to wrap up the end of the year. Hey, what's going on, good people? It's your boy, James Harris, founder of a movement called Mental Heal, which focuses on men's overall wellness, their mental health, physical health, and of course, their emotional health. And I'm also the author of a book called Man Just Express Yourself, which is an interactive planner tool for boys and men to better express themselves. I definitely appreciate everybody who went out and got this book, including my fellow clinicians who got this in the lobby and doing these interventions and uh, you know, doing session or just, you know, just got this information out there. I definitely appreciate you. Salute to all my spouses out there who got this tool for the men in our lives, you know, the husbands, fiancés, and boyfriends. Definitely benefiting too. And praises to my parents who got this tool um, and, and doing it with their young ones. I definitely appreciate that. And if you want the book, definitely go to Barnes & Noble's, Target, Walmart, Amazon, pretty much anywhere books are sold, including my website. I definitely appreciate you. And I'm also the founder and creator of a board game called Cheesy Dates, which is available now on my website, which is a good tool regardless of where you are in the spectrum of your relationship. Um, you can do this at the girl night, boys night, game night, um, of course, date night. So if you are single, this is a good game for you to play with this potential person that you're courting. If you are in a relationship, this is a good game that you play to ensure that you are with the right person or you can understand how they're answering questions. So I definitely appreciate everybody who's out there giving me support. I don't take it for granted. I definitely appreciate you being here. And if you're new here, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. And to my people who's been with me from day one, thank you, thank you, thank you for assisting me and getting monetized. Continue to like, share these uh videos in different groups and and different places i definitely appreciate it salute to you um i don't take it for granted um so now we're at the end of the year which is so wonderful you made it after everything that's been taking place this year from uh happiness to sadness to trauma to grief just so many different things happen um how often do you say by the end of the year i'll blah 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 you know of course at the beginning of the year, you make note or you write down certain things that you want to accomplish. So how'd you do on your list? Did you accomplish a portion of your list or you got more to go, but it's only a couple of days left within the year? Either way, let's start fresh coming up. Um, so we often set deadlines to accomplish different goals and have specific expectations of how things should be by the end of the year. You know, you was anticipating this moment for a minute, you know, or 12 months. Uh, if you haven't already done everything we intended to do, we have a false sense of urgency. Some people even panic or even become despair within that. You know, oh man, December's right around the corner. I still got to do blah, 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 blah. No, like slow down, pace yourself. Just be a little bit more intentional this upcoming year. Um, you know, it's different tips uh, that you can do within that, you know, to put these things in perspective and make sure you're giving yourself grace. Make sure you're allowing yourself to be a person. Don't continue to put all this pressure on yourself to accomplish certain things by the end of the year. At the end of the year, it's easy to shine a spotlight on what's left undone um, and forget about everything that you've accomplished uh, that was already, you know, a milestone pretty much, you know, so don't overlook your, your actual accomplishments. Um, you can't counteract this by effectively making a list of all the important tasks that you already accomplished. So some people bought a house, some people started school, some people lost weight. You know, all of those intentions that you had at the beginning of the year, you actually made an effort to complete them and you completed some of them. So don't discourage that. Don't forget that thinking about all the rest of the stuff you got left. Um, because you, you want to balance out that negative bias. You know, many have cognitive biases that focus on, you know, what's wrong rather than what's right. You know, if you're unfamiliar with that, it's a, um, a video on my page about the cognitive, cognitive dissonance. So check that out, previous videos. Um, and it's also a video on my page about resolutions versus intentions. So it's the end of the year. You want to make sure that you're going into this new year with intentions and purpose and, and you know, being intentional about completing different tasks. Um, so looking for threats in the environment gave us, you know, evolutionary advantages like staying alert, staying possible to different dangers. And of course, this happened because of what we say in the news and of course, what COVID has done over the past couple of years. So that's definitely important that you pay attention to that. 
Um, but this way of thinking, of course, can be negative, distorting to our views of how things are going positively within our lives. So you definitely want to focus on positive things because you've accomplished a lot of positivity things. You know, some people got married. Some people got a new job. Again, some people lost weight. Some people changed their lifestyle. Some people quit smoking, you know, just a lot of different things. Or it could have been something that you consider minor that was a grand thing. So Again, focus on what uh, not so much of those negative biases. When you find yourself focused on the negative, try to make a list of all the good things that's transpired within your life. Um, not just within this year, but just period. You know, just focus on everything, how far have you come within your journey. Um, put social comparisons like in perspective. You know, the end of the year often means more socializing. You got family traveling in town. You got more work functions that you probably got to attend. Um, people want to know what we've been up to and they want to, to brag about their own accomplishments. You know, depending on where you are, whether it's the community, the work, the school. You know, of course, people going to be like, oh, man, I did X, Y, Z this year. I took this many trips or I, I met... Uh, I've, I've gotten engaged, you know, so those things happen. It's easy to compare to how others appear um, at different parties or work settings or, or even on social media. You know, everybody's doing it for the ground. Um, you know, so don't let that affect how you're feeling inside. Prepare a couple of stories that you want to tell when you are in these work settings or this holiday function party, um, the ugly sweater contest or this, you know, this uh, work appreciation dinner and things like that. So you wouldn't feel like you didn't accomplish things. No, go ahead and gather your thoughts. You accomplished a lot. Um, and, and also deadlines might be might be there for you to set those tasks. Again, ask yourself, like, is this deadline real? real? Does the end of the year mean I should have accomplished X, Y, Z? Or is this just something that I did to myself to add extra pressure? Um, do I absolutely have to have accomplishments by the 31st of December? You know, who made that? Why is that a thing? Um, if the answer is no, then cut yourself a break. Like, give yourself grace. Give yourself slack. Um, if you have to make new resolutions or intentions, like I often say, um, don't worry about the difficulty it's going to be to keep those intentions or those resolutions. You might find making monthly or weekly goals more manageable to avoid pressures of completing that task that will last throughout the year. So it's up to you. You make sure that you won't give yourself too much pressure, though. Only focus on what you can focus on. And while you're doing that, you want to focus on learning. Research different mindset shows that are show that uh, you're more effective when you focus on learning rather than performance. Excuse me. Um, at the end of the year, there is a tendency to look at the outcome and effective results of effective terms and concentrations and completements, accomplishments, um, you know, what we achieved rather than what we didn't. So shift that thinking. Consider what you've learned this year. Consider what you implemented this year. Consider how you help others this year. There's so many different aspects that you're not focused on because you're thinking about the list of things that you didn't get done. Uh, what was your biggest challenges and, and what did you learn from them? You know, um, and definitely I, I think that more people should practice gratitude, not only to other people, but to yourself as well. You know, there's so much, so much research out there that shows practicing gratitude uh, benefits our physical health, emotional well-being, and the quality of our relationships, not with ourselves and with our other people. You know, whether that's in a work setting, a community setting, uh, intimate relationships, all of those things. You know, at the end of the year, it's the perfect time to cultivate gratitude for all the people within your life and you specifically. So look in the mirror, set those affirmations and do different things. It can also be as simple as being grateful for the breath, your body, your life, your health, uh, this food that you have on the table, these gifts that you're about to receive or being in a position to buy gifts for other people. You know, you got a roof over your head. So all of those things are, are happy, man. You didn't get COVID or you overcame COVID. Those things are definitely something to be expressing gratitude for. It is uh, easy to miss the simple things that make our lives more possible. Remember, at the end of the year is one of the beginning of another year. So it's a fresh start. You know, think about that. You got a fresh start, clean slate, um, you know, set strong intentions for this upcoming year. Like, again, if you need it, make sure you see that previous video on resolutions versus intentions. So definitely ensure that you're doing that. I definitely appreciate you for stopping by. Have a good year um, coming up, and I hope you had a wonderful year ending. So keep up the good work. Keep checking me out. 
Um, I definitely appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one.